Whether you have a signature scent or you like to change your scent up with the season, I personally like to do both. Here are some tips to get the most out of your fragrance. I'm Susan Yara. I'm here to tell you which products I think make the cut. I'm ready to go. Tip number one, moisturize first. Did you know perfume lasts longer on oily skin? Who knew? So if you have dry skin, it's important to use a good moisturizer before you apply it. Even better is to moisturize with your perfume's matching lotion because layered scents last even longer. Tip number two, know where to spray it. To make your scent stand out, you want to aim for pulse points. The skin in these areas is thinner, which means the blood is closer to the surface and warms the skin. That warmth helps propel the fragrance into the air. But just choose a couple spots because you don't want to overdo it. Either your wrists, behind the ears, the sides of your neck, and behind your knees and elbows. A good tip to follow is to spray it where you want to be kissed. But don't spray it on your clothes because it can stain the fabric. Tip number three, don't rub it together. You've probably seen everyone, including your mom, rub their wrists together after a spritz of perfume. But that actually bruises the molecules and changes the way the scent smells. Instead, gently press your wrists together to transfer the fragrance. Tip number four, put it in your hair. But I'm not saying to spray it directly into your hair. Perfumes have a high alcohol content, so they can actually dry your hair out. Instead, spray it on your brush and let the alcohol evaporate. Then, brush your hair to get the benefits of the scent without the damage. Or, you can use a fragrance specifically made for the hair like this one from I Smell Great. Tip number five, don't overdo it. You've been in an elevator with this person, or within a mile of them, Woo! that scent is strong. But the strength also depends on how concentrated your perfume is. Parfum contains about 20% fragrance oil in it, but it's actually not overpowering like the next type, Eau de Parfum. This is about 10 to 20% fragrance oil and what most people consider perfume. They also smell much stronger in the heat. Eau de Toilette is a lighter scent that's great for the summer or in the office. They're made of about 10% oil. Then there's cologne, which we associate with men. They're really light and contain about 5% oil. Last are body sprays. They can be worn all over to freshen up because they're made with 1 to 3% oil. When using a strong fragrance, maybe just give it one good spritz. Tip number six, take your fragrance with you. If you feel like your fragrance fades during the day, then take it with you, but you don't need the whole bottle. Instead, spray a couple of Q-tips with your favorite scent and store them in a sandwich bag in your purse. It's an easy way to touch up your fragrance throughout the day. Tip number seven, store it correctly. Like a fine wine, perfume can turn sour if you don't store it correctly. While a fridge is the best place, a cool dry place will work too. Keep them out of direct sunlight and don't store them in the bathroom. The air in there is so humid, fragrances don't last too long. Heat, light, and humidity, bad. Cool, dark, and dry, good. Tip number eight, know when to say goodbye. If it's stored well, you should get a good three years out of your perfume. So don't save that expensive perfume for special occasions. Use it before it spoils, because no matter what, it will happen, so you have to learn to let it go. If anything, it's just an excuse to go shopping for a new one. Hope you enjoyed these tips. Don't forget to subscribe to Mixed Makeup and find us on Instagram at Mixed Makeup. Find me at Susan Yara, and thanks for watching. Yeah.